Hey everybody, Dave Anderson, the Heli Cools Helipad, where great ideas take flight. Hey, today it's supposed to rain, so I'm going to try to get this done as quick as I can. We're going to be installing the Master Lock 770, so stay tuned. Well, hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, so, I checked the inner door here. There is a rib that runs right along through here. It ends about, about a few inches short of the end of the door. So it looks like just right above the door here, right above here is gonna be good to go. And I also checked this side here, and this is just an empty panel. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, uh, take the lock and I'm gonna mark where these holes go on this side and then see it has a little bit of play in it you can kind of tell it has a little bit of play in it so I'm gonna mark this one get it up here and then get the other one just kind of leveled up with it and put it about there I want to make sure that I can still open the door once this is on there, so I need to make sure that this, there's nothing that's gonna impinge on this door opening up. So we're gonna make sure all that happens. I've already measured up about 12 inches. This is where I'm gonna put it. So we're gonna get to uh, drilling out some holes and get this installed lickety split. Now for security purposes, I'm gonna put a washer stack on the very back so that nobody can pull it, pull and rip the bolt through. And I'm also going to put uh, some Volcom on the back of it. That's exterior um, sealant and it's also paintable. And also you want to make sure that the bolt that you use as a carriage bolt has that square head or square part there. And that it's not very long because there's a window here and you don't want to put this bolt all the way through there and impinge on the window coming down. All right, now then, I'm gonna put this piece, this piece on the left side of both uh, this side and the other side of the truck. And because uh, the reason why I'm doing that is to make sure that the word master is this way and not this way. I have OCD, undiagnosed of course, but I want to have the lock so that it looks like this each and every time with master on the uh, right side up. If the drill bit tries to walk all over the place like that one was doing, uh, you could do that to do two different things to solve that. You can either use a smaller drill and drill a hole that's you know quite a bit smaller and then use the bigger drill uh, bit to finish it off. Or you can use uh, one of these and this is a punch and you don't whack it with the back of a hammer. You can see it, it's, it has a little spring load and I'll show you how to use it. Put it right in the center of the hole that you want it to, to go on. You just push it in. So it's spring loaded, push it in, and then it knocks it a good one. So it's put a nice little mark right there, tiny little dimple. And now this drill bit should hold good and fast. Now, we, uh, now that we have it, all the holes drilled, it's, everything looks pretty good. I'm going to use some Volcom. And uh, this is stuff that you can pick up at Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever. It's uh, exterior. This happens to be a gray color. Exterior and it is paintable. Uh, so we're going to 
put some Volcom right around each one of these. And to make sure that it's good and sealed, bead all the way around the bottom, top, and sides. And I also want to put just a little bit in the center just to make sure that it uh, sticks. I can feel it just starting to rain. That's not what I wanted right now. <laughs> All right, now then, I am also using Nylock nuts, so these shouldn't come out, won't ever rattle out. Well, I thought there was going to be a short rain delay, so I put my camera away, and then it kind of stopped, so now it's back spitting again because I touched my camera. Anyway, I had a second thought about this because I'm going to be driving and rain is going to be coming this way. I kind of wanted to have this plate in front, so it's going to affect my OCD, I know it, to have the word master upside down, but... Uh, <laughs> Maybe I can fill this in uh, and sand it off so it's just smooth. It doesn't have the word there for it really starts to bother me. So uh, anyway, the lock is going to be here and, and this lock master is going to be upside down, but uh, not a biggie. All right, now I'm going to put this on the door side. So I got the lock on there and I'm just going to kind of center it where it wants to go in the middle here with all the play and make sure it's aligned with this plate here. And then uh, mark the holes, drill it, and it'll be the same procedure, putting the Volcom on there, running the bolts through, tightening them everything down, of course, putting the washers on the back. And this side will be done other than painting, and then I just have the other side. So stay tuned. Well, that, my friends, was not fun, especially the door side, because it's very hard, very tight fit, kind of busted up my knuckles a little bit. But uh, it is done, and it is in place. Kind of happy about it. Uh, as you can see, I kind of offset it just a little bit, just in case uh, this, I think this door still needs to come up just a little bit. So I just offset it a little bit. Pin still goes through just fine, but, uh, it's uh, looking pretty good. Now, if you want to weld it, go ahead and weld it, but uh, if you want to bolt it, you can bolt it too. Uh, so either option will work. So that was the whole point of this. I just need to paint this one and then uh, start working on the other side, but I'm pretty happy and stoked that that is done. Uh, so pretty awesome deal there. I didn't mind getting wet. I am from Washington. Not the first time that I've been wet, nor will it be the last time. But uh, you guys, thanks for watching, and uh, be safe out there, and God bless. You're still here? Why don't you click on one of these three videos? They're great! 
You can also click on Dave's face to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified when new videos publish. Go ahead and click. It's okay. Click.